what's up guys i hope y'all are killing it uh, today it's the day we've been talking about we're pulling the motor i've already got it up on jack stands i've already drained the oil i'm draining the coolant just getting some other not so fun things out of the way then we got to start unbolting things unwiring things and we can pull the motor this afternoon so far everything has gone quite smoothly knock on wood the jack stands all that is going great uh fluids there hasn't been much coolant in it it's kind of weird car doesn't overheat so don't worry about that but it's just interesting so next up after that's done i think of course battery disconnect the battery all that stuff then we gotta start i guess we'll just start taking the uh, radiator and all that stuff out of the way might as well get it done so to start off we're going to go ahead and remove the battery give us a little bit more room and also we don't want all this electrical hooked up when we're working on it so i mean it's just a battery two little bolts i think now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the hood off to make life easier this would be easier with two people but there's only one of us people here so we'll do the just in case angle i mean how bad can it be right how bad can it be Uh, if you're doing this, I do recommend the second person. Look at that. Now we got some like angry roof scoop action going, like an old truck or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have the quick electrical disconnect uh, right here. A 10 millimeter bolt goes down in there. Obviously, you got to disconnect all the, the uh, ground stuff for the hood. So now we're going to move on to something. I don't know what yet. So in here, all it is, quick disconnect and a couple other connectors, and this whole thing pops off. We disconnected the vacuum lines right here. We're working on this EVAP hose, which I think it's an EVAP hose. Uh, first though, I wanna cover the fenders, try to protect them. Uh, I don't have a mat, but I do have painter's tape. What do you guys think? Should we just wrap the car blue? I mean, I think it looked pretty good. Seriously, I have been thinking about changing the color up a little bit. I still wanna paint it black, but maybe eventually a wrap on top of it. Let me know what you think. Okay, so we just disconnected the MSD two step, the heater lines and throttle cable, a few other things, all this disconnected. Two step is disconnected. Now we're gonna work on the fuel line, which is probably gonna be the messiest part of the job. Apart from the oil change last night. If you haven't seen that video, uh, it's like up there, go click it. I, worst oil change I've ever done. And the last drive of the Mustang, just go check it out. Okay, we're gonna try to do this least messy way possible. No gas, really? Well, all right then. Now using our nifty fuel line disconnect tool, we're gonna not disconnect the, the fuel line. After a little persuasion, we did get the fuel line to pop off. We took off the upper radiator hose. Now we're gonna take off the coolant reservoir just to give us some more room. We may end up taking the fan out too. We'll just have to see how that goes. Just like that. Oh, we have another hose. All right, for real this time we got it out. We're gonna go put it over with the other parts and figure out what's next. We went ahead and removed the fan just to give us some extra room. A couple things are staying with the car. AC compressor, power steering pump, that all gets taken off, doesn't get pulled out with the motor, make our life a little easier. With all we've done so far, we are pretty much done with the top side of the motor, which means we have to hop on the creeper, get under there. Uh, first, we're gonna tackle the exhaust. Now this has BBK long tube headers on it, so I can imagine this is not gonna be the most fun thing in the world. If you're a real OG, you'll remember when it was snowy and we went out and did snow like sledding, kayaking. Um, this gives me an idea. Since this car is equipped with long tubes, we're gonna try something a little bit different. Hopefully it makes our life easier when pulling the motor. So if you can see, there's a steering arm right down there. We unbolted that from the rack and hopefully that means we can leave the headers attached to the engine and pull it out. It's gonna be kind of tricky, but I think it'll be easier than trying to remove the headers while it's still on there, because that is not looking fun. We are gonna go ahead and tackle the AC compressor and power steering though, then we can move along the rest of the drive line, get everything disconnected, and ready to yank out when Price gets here. That's right, he's coming. Little bitty change in plans. So we're gonna do the AC compressor stuff later. We're gonna move back, do the clutch, exhaust. We're not taking the headers off, but we're gonna uh, disconnect the pipe on the way back. Then we're gonna do drive shaft, and then we'll come up and do the front stuff. You know, the car is, uh, the top side was easier. 
We'll go with that. Well, how nice of you to uh, to join me down here. It's it's cozy. Uh, one thing I will give this creeper. It's pretty comfy. So we were working. We almost got this all undone. There's a few electrical connectors. Freaking bolt. Like who who designed that? Like whose job was that? You put it behind that line. Ah. Anywho, we gotta go get some tools in a second. Ratcheting wrenches. I don't have any. I know. I should. But I'm cheap and I don't want to spend money on car parts. So I'm gonna go buy some. And then. We just have the radiator hose, transmission connections, drive shaft, motor mounts, we're about ready. We are just about as deep into this as we can get right now with the tools that we have. Uh, so we are gonna go ahead, run to the store, grab some tools. We need a 10 mil, special sockets for the back drive shaft. I don't have those. Uh, ratcheting, ratcheting wrench, 10 millimeter. That's pretty much it. And now, unfortunately, only one working. Tomorrow though, we're gonna get the 91 working. Getting the part, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gotta work. We gotta bob and weave today, we gotta bob and weave. All right, so we're gonna go to the auto parts store. It turns out to be a good time to because thunderstorm. It's cooling off at least. So far, all in all, I've been having a ton of fun with this project, but it is a big project. I'm gonna have to transfer all the electrical over to the new motor, which isn't even built yet. Didn't think about that. We are gonna get it all done though. We're gonna get it taken care of. We're gonna get it pulled out today so we can clean out the engine bay, all that area, clean up some wiring, and we're gonna be good to go when the new motor's in. $81 later, we are back. We got the tools, this is what we needed. Some ratcheting wrenches so we can get one bolt out, the power steering pump, and a 12 millimeter, 12 point socket for the rear drive shaft. We also got some oil absorbent. $81. Now we are headed under the car again. We're gonna go take off that drive shaft and then we're on to electrical connectors for transmission and motor mount, transmission cross member. Then we're ready to yank it out. All right, drive shaft is out, which means now I think we're gonna go ahead and take the shifter out and then we're gonna move down under the car again, work on the transmission connectors and then we can start unbolting like motor mounts, transmission cross member and all that fun stuff. So we're all done inside the car. We got the shifter out which we will be selling with the car because it's a new different transmission uh, we covered up the uh, hole where the transmission is kind of keep some stuff out of it we really don't want stuff getting in there because that can hurt the transmission so now we're moving under again Ugh. undo electrical connections a couple more bolts and then price is on the way it is that time guys we have the motor mounts out transmission cross member is off we have the load leveler up we also have a price. I don't know. He's. I don't know why he's here. It's like emotional support or something. So this was a pain in itself getting bolted up. We are here. I don't like the clearance, but we're gonna send it. Kind of nervous. It's gonna be hard with the headers intact. We're just gonna keep pulling until it won't pull anymore, though. And yeah, how bad can it be? Things are happening, dude. I think we're gonna want it to go a little more of an angle, like about right there. I forgot something. So we're gonna we're gonna put a piece of cardboard in front of the radiator, uh, oh. just so when we pull forward, I don't want to dent that because it's a new one, supposedly. Cardboard. All right, we're gonna try to pull it back a little bit. It might not be out of mounts yet. Might not be out of mounts yet. I want to go this way a little bit to pull it out of the motor mounts, and then we'll go the other way. Um, what just fell? Hose clamp. That scared a fire out of me. I thought we broke something. I thought I forgot something. It was the hose clamp. It's uh, it's free now. It's just that long tube. The only reason we're pulling it with the long tubes is because it's so hard to get the things off. Yeah. Things don't go your way. Just beat it. Just beat it. Beat it. Beat it. I need you to hit it harder, dude. I don't know if it's going through there. So we're gonna go ahead and try to pull that header off, make things easier. We've broken a few things on the way out, I'll be honest, but a lot of things that already were broken. So we just broke them more. Have you caught anything else or are we? I think we're good. That bottle cable. Everything is free. Everything's good. So just a little recap. We tried on that steering, what was it, an hour? No, more than that. It was more than an hour. 
We just need a pry bar. We pry barred it out of there and it, it worked. So now we are free. I think we can kind of pull it a little bit. Yep. Come on, baby. We're almost there. So I did, I did cap the back of that so it wouldn't puke transmission fluid. Yeah, you can see how it's going. Okay, so here's the deal, here's the problem we're having, is that, it's the garage. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think we need to close the garage. Well, it's only a thousand pound limit. What could go wrong? Let's do it. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I know that was a little hectic. Okay, it was a lot, it was a lot hectic. It was hectic for us too. We kept getting hung up on the dang steering arm right here, which we need to get out. It is okay, thankfully. So because we have long tube headers on the car, it complicated everything. Now the easiest way to do this would be to drop the whole K-member, the whole engine with it, but we, uh, it's harder to do that without a lift, which we don't have, so we were doing it this way. I can only imagine how difficult it's going to be putting that back in though. It's going to be rough. Price though, coming in clutch. Thank you. The motor is out and we did create a little bit of a mess. Just a little. It looks like a, a war zone. It, oof. <laughs> it's time for dinner though. <laughs> we got to take those headers off. A few things in the motor, get everything situated, looking nice. We got to take the whole electrical system off this motor. So we have it. We got a lot to do still. We got them out, so we got to... Hey, dude, the acoustics. What acoustics? The acoustics. That's Give it your best bro. yodel. Give it your best yodel. I don't yodel. Dude, that was majestic. That was so good. Cheers. So, it's like working on a puzzle piece. It's a big grown up puzzle piece, is what it is. It's a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. You know, it's like having 150 pieces to your puzzle. But you only know two, so maybe yeah, it's, it's, or maybe one and a half. So you know where one goes. That's what it's like to work on this. This wiring harness is giving me anxiety just looking at it. I have two of them. One of them's kind of broken. This one's not, but this one has additives to it uh, because of the MSD two step, and it just it just takes the harness difficulty to like boss level. This is the boss level wiring harness. So we know what we're doing. So if y'all ever want to take your 4.6 liter wait. V8 out and put another one in, we're your guys to call. This right here is the, the site of winning. Are you winning though? Well, uh, yes. Are you, are you really? The only thing is that it doesn't know it yet. It's not a Dyson, but it is vacuum. The editor of this video, that whole part about the vacuum, <laughs> cut that out. Cut that out. Wait, you're the editor. You don't have to know that. Y'all, we are officially neck deep into this Mustang build. And I gotta say, I'm super excited. I'm super nervous because I know putting this motor back in is gonna be a challenge. But thank you guys so much for watching, Jacob. Thanks for the help. Couldn't have done without you. We are going to work on the 91 tomorrow and do a few other things, fix my truck. Uh, Mustang's gonna sit for now. If you wanna buy this motor, let me know. It's for sale. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to follow along with the build and be a part of the Covert Garage, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But until next time, I'll see y'all very soon.